Well, a new plan could slice some time off your daily drive to work along this stretch of I-275. Yeah, check this out right here. We are getting a look at the proposal to widen a part of the interstate. ABC Action News reporter Wendy Lane is driving Tampa Bay forward now to explain exactly how this could help. Good morning, Wendy. <laughs> Hey, good morning, guys. Yeah, you know if you take 275 at all during rush hour just north of Tampa, that it is kind of a nightmare. Let's go ahead and take a look right now. The roads really aren't that bad, but we're starting to see a lot more traffic, and it's only 530. So some commuters say the small congested stretch heading in and out of downtown can add hours to their drive during rush hour. FDOT has a new idea to fix this on 275 for a seven mile stretch from MLK past Beers Avenue. They want to add an additional lane on the north and south side. Tonight at 530 is a public hearing on the proposal and some drivers are saying it's a much needed fix. I mean, I sit sometimes almost two hours in traffic. Now, the other plan drivers can weigh in on is the no build solution, which costs nothing and basically means that nothing is done or nothing changes. So back on the road here, as for backups at I-275 and I-4, this project wouldn't impact those, unfortunately, but we're told that there is a plan in the works for that as well.